Internet Explorer to web developers is like, it's like the final boss in a video game. You know, you, you, you make a web, a website or a web app and, and you, you get it to, to work properly on different size devices and, and you defeat, you know, you defeat Chrome, <laughs> you defeat Firefox, you even defeat uh, Safari, all right? But waiting in the shadows is that final boss that you must find a way to somehow defeat. And that boss is Internet Explorer. So today I'm going to show you how to install Internet Explorer on a Mac if you're running a Mac. So you can defeat uh, this uh, villainous creature that just seems to not uh, want to die <laughs> just won't go away let's kill him properly this time you could not live with your own failure where did that bring you back to me so you might be wondering, okay, why in the world do I need to even worry about this garbage web browser that nobody is using, right? Well, I'm here on uh, Statista.com, and if you look at uh, the statistics on uh, browser usage, um, based on uh, results all the way up to March 2020, uh, you notice there Chrome is in the lead, which is, that's not a shocker, right? Not a big shocker there. Um, right under Chrome, you have Safari at 15.1%, Microsoft Edge at 7.87%, um, Firefox is at 81 and look at that, Internet Explorer still being used there at 7.64%. And depending on the field that you work in, um, like there's like some uh, some people in the medical field or in the auto industry where they're still using Internet Explorer, um, even for like internal internal purposes um, for intranets and, and things like that, you'll be forced to have to support this raggedy, dusty browser. <laughs> So what's the problem with that, right? What's the, what's so bad about Internet Explorer? Well, if we look at uh, caniuse.com, which is, you know, this is like the main site you, you would go to to see, okay, if I'm trying to implement a certain feature on a, on a web site or a web app, will this work in all types of different browsers, right? So if you click on compare browsers, and we'll check off uh, Internet Explorer, Edge, and Firefox and Chrome, and that's good enough. Yeah, that that should do it. So if you scroll down, um, now here this is some of the features you would want to implement <laughs> on a website or a web app. And look at like already, look at all the partial support and nodes that Internet Explorer 11 has that's like the most recent one right bunch of nodes there you got a couple nodes across the board on this other stuff but look at all the partial support partial 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 and then a whole list of nodes just for like even some basic CSS stuff that you would want to do on a website look at all of this stuff so you're building a nice beautiful website that's working great on Chrome, working great on Firefox and Safari. And then all of a sudden, depending on the industry you're in or the client you're working with, they're complaining about it not working on Internet Explorer. And so this is the type of stuff that you run into. And I don't know, Microsoft just won't bury this thing. So you're forced to support it. They just won't deprecate it. And they said they're not they're not doing it anytime soon. So to get around this, especially if you're on a Mac, um, you wanna you wanna install Internet Explorer 
on Microsoft Windows inside of a virtual machine. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much like the only way around it. So the cheapest, most inexpensive way to do this is uh, to go to virtualbox.com. Now, virtualbox.com or virtualbox.org, sorry about that. And you can go ahead and just download um, for uh, Macs right here. I already have a VirtualBox downloaded, but if you don't have it downloaded, this is where you would download it at. Uh, after you download a uh, VirtualBox, it's gonna come to a screen like this. You'll open up a screen like that. So you want to get Windows 10 into VirtualBox so that you can like test stuff on Internet Explorer. So to get Windows 10, you just go to uh, Microsoft's website and I'm going to link or put all of these links in the description below so you can get to VirtualBox and the specific uh, URL to download uh, this ISO file that you have to download to, to load Windows 10 into VirtualBox. So we're on Windows uh, or Microsoft's website here and you just select the edition Windows 10 um, hit confirm uh, you choose a language I'm going to choose English and I'm going to confirm that and we're going to download the 64 bit download so and it's a pretty big file as you can see there so that's going to take a little bit to download so once that's downloaded we'll uh, bring that into virtual box so we can load up windows 10. so i have the iso disk here i'm going to go ahead and add new and just title this windows 10 and see that automatically filled in we we'll hit continue uh, so you get the recommended memory size here um, you can up this <laughs> which you might want to up this further if you like if you actually plan on using this um, you know you can give yourself some more memory so we we'll hit continue there and you have to create a virtual hard disk and this is the recommended uh, which is 50 gigs um, which takes up a lot <laughs> on your computer so if you if you're thinking about going this route just remember you're going to have to sacrifice uh, this out of your hard drive just for windows 10 to operate on your computer on, on your mac all right so let's go ahead and create it and we have a virtual box disk image that we want to use and we want to use um fixed size because um it just runs slower on dynamically allocated so select fixed size hit continue and that's pretty much it so we'll go ahead and hit create so so let's go ahead and start it up and it's empty right now but we're going to go ahead and grab the uh, ISO file open it up and start it and hopefully we should be able to get a nice Windows startup here. So progress is being made. And so I don't have a product key. And I'm just gonna select home, Windows 10 home. That's all we really need because we're just trying to test the browser. And accept the license terms. We're gonna do a custom install.
can just hit next and it's installing windows for you so this of course will take a little bit to install um, but eventually we're going to get there so here we are with windows 10 on the computer um, and we have full capability to go and now look at internet explorer um, but we do know that windows 10 uh, browser of choice Windows 10's uh, browser of choice is Microsoft Edge. So I'm just going to type in Cortana search here and see if I can find Internet Explorer. And there's Internet Explorer. And there you have it. Um, and this can be resized. Um, this can be changed and, and resized and made bigger and all of that good stuff. But um, there you have it. Uh, Windows 10, Internet Explorer on a Mac. Um, now, as far as alternatives to this method, uh, of course, like I said, this is the free way to do it. But there are better, better ways to do this uh, one method is to use a browser stack so let me bring up uh, let's bring this up here so this is browser stack and um, you know they do have like a free trial um, if we go to price in here though uh, here they for one user uh, if you want to really test your apps and stuff like that, it's $29 a month to use a browser stack. Um, but I don't know. We found some limitations of browser stack at work as far as really, uh, it's not a virtual machine. You don't really get the full environment effect of like Internet Explorer um, being inside of a Windows operating system. So it has some flaws when we were testing some uh, some things in a browser at work. Uh, now, my personal favorite and what I, I've been using is called Parallels. And Parallels works great because it doesn't run slow. Like this virtual machine eventually, it just seems like no matter how much RAM I put on there or how much heart hard disk space I put on there the virtual machine would run slow um, but parallels a uh, parallel uh, seems to work the best um, me and a co-worker we were troubleshooting uh, something on Internet Explorer at work one time and he actually put me up on parallels so uh, shout out to Corbin uh, for uh, putting me on to parallels um, and it just works like way better to me so those are kind of the main three options you're looking at um, virtual box which is the freeway uh, then you have browser stack which you know they got a free trial and then you got um, parallels here which you can uh, use Internet Explorer on here as well so hopefully that wasn't too complicated if you like this video Go ahead, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.